here back with another video. A little bit different for you guys. I'm joined with Super from the Super Jammer Bros channel. Hello everybody. Okay. Just had to make sure that the mic was actually on. So ladies and gentlemen, we break we basically For those of you who are planning to use a food service, i.e. food delivery service, my recommend, and this, by the way folks, is just a recommendation. We're not actually telling you guys not to do it, but this is just a recommendation. Stay away from Postmates, ladies and gentlemen, because Postmates has to be the worst the worst delivery service I've ever, we've ever used. We have gotten screwed over twice. Actually, no, a few times. By freaking Postmates. Boost, would you care to explain and everything? Uh, well, let's see. The other night. Okay, I didn't put that right spot. The other night. What was it? We fucking. You wanted ice cream. We ordered ice cream. Um, I ended up calling the fucking... What was it? The fucking place itself. Unfortunately, the manager was cool. Shoutouts to Rita's. It's an ice cream shop here in town. But they don't do deliver. So it's like, well, shit. Out of luck when it comes to that. Which the guy actually felt bad that he couldn't deliver it, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Because Booze basically told him that he got screwed over by the Postmates people and everything. And he said, are you serious? Like, you gotta be kidding me. Well, to be fair, it was... Oh, shit. I didn't even realize how much he actually is. Maybe 17 bucks or something like that. Um, to be fair... I had one guy sit there text me saying, Oh, well, it's already been picked up. And I'm like, okay. Wait a few minutes. The estimated time. All that bullshit. Yada, yada, yada. Nothing. Not a damn thing. And then it tossed around to three other people. And it's like, what the hell? Hmm. No. Let's go to tonight. Which I am currently hanging out with Bruce Lang on Friday Day right now. Fuck! I can't pay that bill. So, I ordered Postmates and everything, because, you know, me and Bruce wanted to get some candy. You know, candy, some drinks, you know, i.e., you know, buy one get one free uh first guy's teeth or actually i think they call like watermelon something i forget what it is um you know but the thing is they're buy one get one free anyway that's not the point the point is and everything we're waiting for the people to come i.e the first guy whose name for privacy reasons i will not give out <laughs> oh i sat there and brought his ass i don't give a damn piss you off you do have a right to fucking well, his name was Mohammed. Now, I'm doing the Indian voice. I don't know if he was Indian or not, but anyway. Apparently, this son of a gun didn't know how to use friggin' directions. Because he went every which way but south. <laughs> uh, he basically... And I literally watched him on the thing, folks. I.E. The... You know, the monitor thing that's on the post paint. Yeah. He was not following the GPS at all. And then I get the message saying, Oh, well, Muhammad has apparently canceled the order. I figured that's what that was, because I got the fucking email from it. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Mind you, we've been out all fucking day today, too. 
Which, by the way, folks, if you hear me chewing, I'm actually chewing Nerds candy right now. Uh, actually, Nerds gummy clusters, to be precise. Um. But yeah, no, folks, it. I mean, we've used DoorDash and everything. We've used Postmates many times. DoorDash. DoorDash seems to be a lot better than our fucking favorite at this fucking point. The only problem with DoorDash is it's fucking expensive, folks. Well, yeah, because they do the fucking free trial shit. Yeah. For. Like a good first 30 days, and then after that, that's when you get charged the fee and all their fees and shit. Right. Which, I mean, in retrospect, yeah, is it expensive? Depends on how much shit you order. Like, for me, I ordered Mexican food, and that was just $30 for my. $38 just for myself. And that's with tip. Right. So, it just depends on what you're ordering from. You know, granted, I mean, it's, you know, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, honestly, you know, I can't blame the company and everything and stuff. And I, mean, I blame the Postmates, obviously, you know. Uh, you know, especially, like, when you pay a lot of money, folks, only for the, for using their services and everything, which the fees on Postmates is outrageous. The delivery fee and stuff and everything, the freaking, um, you know, the taxes, I mean, well, okay, the tax is actually not bad. Fuck me. I, do, I have seen, like, the taxes, like, many times and everything for, you know, a lot of things. And the taxes are not really... I don't have much to complain about the taxes. It's just the freaking delivery charge that gets me and everything. Um, now, granted, Postmates is actually done by Uber. Um, so, I mean, I guess Uber has their own fucking prices when it comes to... Uh, you know, charging uh, delivery fees and stuff and everything. But... I would not recommend it at all. I mean, if you guys want to, you know, we can't stop you, obviously, and everything for, you know, using the service. But I would not recommend, I would not recommend it using, um, yeah. I would not recommend using Buffalo Wild Wings, right? Postmates, I mean. You know, it's still funny as shit because I have that fucking order still in my fridge. Uh, it's just sitting there. Um... But yeah, folks, I mean, honestly, it's, it's playing out dumb and everything, you know, and honestly, who knows? I mean, there again, you did have a problem with our pizza place. Yeah. Well. I mean, there again, it, it, you know, that was, that was actually on me. Because I forgot about the freaking, um, the gated community. Yeah. So that, that, that was part of my part. Um. haven't had much problems always. I mean, it's... What really gets to me, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact is when, like, when, you know, Postmate drivers, they sit there and they cancel an order just because they don't get tips. Now, anybody knows, or anybody should know, rather, that when you work for a delivery company, the delivery person is not supposed to ask for tips. They are only supposed to get tips if the person that ordered the stuff 
decides to give a tip. That part you're not wrong. Now, I know a lot of people are going to sit there and be like, well, but you got to realize that they use their own cars and stuff and everything. And you guys would be right on that. I understand that, that they do. That they do. I mean, they use their own gas. So, for those of you who are planning on leaving that in the comments and everything, I, I do realize that. But, when the person doesn't have money to give a tip, these drivers need to realize that. But, unfortunately, 99% of the time, these drivers don't. They sit there and they're like, oh, you know, they, they, they take a look at the thing. They take a look at the order and they're like, oh, no tip. Okay, well, I guess I'm canceling this one. If I don't get a tip, I'm not going to deliver it. You know, but, you know. And there again, ladies and gentlemen, I sit there and everything, and I, you know, I, I really question that because it's, you, you, you gotta sit there and you gotta, you know, your job as a postman's driver is to accept any deal that's out there, or any order that's out there. Or excuse me, let me rephrase that. Any order that's around, that's closer to you, not sit there and ignore it. I had to set the damn prices. Sixteen or six sixteen pounds. So, I mean, that's a really all there is to that. Nevertheless, we hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's video. I don't even know how long this is, to be honest. Uh, we'll go up a pound. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you guys for 452 subscribers. Do appreciate it. I have a lot more content, guys, going out. It's just a lot of it is already pre-recorded. Um trying to hang out with Super, trying to, actually, if you guys haven't checked it out, we actually set up his bed, finally, mm -hmm. um, so if you guys want to go over and check that out, he did upload the two hour long video, for part one, I'm assuming, I think you got another part, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, the live stream that you did, oh yeah, that's true, um, but thank you guys so much for watching, do appreciate it, would really help me out a lot guys if you guys wouldn't mind sharing uh, my live my life <laughs> my video YouTube, my videos out to your family and friends do appreciate everything helps guys um, I did this for you guys uh, I'm not sure when you guys will see this um, current jeez what is 5136 in pounds like 36, I think that's 38. Uh, that would be 61... 61, 60... No. 61, 76 in American money. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, that's 38. So, um, yeah, so as he said, folks, uh, part one of the bed making process is on my is on the super jam brothers channel um part two and everything which was the live stream that boost um did and everything for the putting the bed together is actually on his channel so i just have to unlock it it's locked at the moment so once he unlocks it and everything guys you guys will be able to view it uh i hope you guys enjoy uh for those of you <laughs> For those of you who um, don't like cursing, I <laughs> everything else, uh, uh, yeah, that video is gonna have a lot of stuff in there that's 
Yeah. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoy that. See you guys in the next one.